r slash 90 day fiance pagan ritual 666 says does jabri ever shut the hell up holy crap he's driving me nuts in this tell all he is out for blood i really hope someone throws hands with him before this episode is over he's got too much to say included photo Shelter Conscious 4124 says. Don't worry, Spackles gets his vagina handed to him. Beneficial Frame 6 says. I totally wanted to see some Jerry Springer ass kicking when Spackles wouldn't STF you. I was thinking hey Patrick with your big good for nothing show muscles, get up step to this punk talking about your brother on TV. What a dick. But my money was 100% on Boston John. If it went down. Just saying. K underscore car 00 says. OMG I know it was ridiculous. 5 minutes and I'm wondering what he's so angry about. It's so obvious now he was mad about him. And mine are not being picked for he or pillow talk. By lol and she eater on he. Literally everyone else on pillow talk. Just goes to show how popular their story was. He wanted to go out with a bang I'm guessing. Pretty part 8142 says. See the happiness in our souls and let the light consume you with dollars and cents sparkles. Garden underscore guru 75 says. Shut yappy hole spackles. Diunelo says. Jibri is trying to get his own spin off. At the way it is going he will shoot himself in the foot making viewers hating him even more. Lin Cobb says. Nope. He never shuts up, and neither does his suit. OK Wedding 4654 says. He was probably just mad that he wasn't brought back for Happily Ever After, or Pillow Talk, so he took it out on the cast. Krazkchik81 says. Just wait for John. Blue 10 Speed says. You'll likely won't see him on the show again. The producer said somewhere that they got more feedback about him and minor than anyone else in the history of the show, that viewers never want to see him again. Christian Womanx says. He's a little diva. R slash 90 day fiance. V0L4 till 3 says. What is wrong with these people on 90 days fiance? I started watching 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days, and I don't understand why the cast always go for playboys slash playgirls and people out of their leagues, and try to make them be settled down, and play husband or wife, when they are at their peak for physical attractiveness and peak desire to be up, and about it doesn't make sense how, do they expect any other outcome. Besides disappointment. They cast are always more older, and have been married and divorced with kids multiple times and they want a young hot attractive party got a partner to settle down, and play husband and wife. Brad1219 says. Midlife crisis maybe lol. Tato Indy says. You must be new here. Welcome friend. It only gets more frustrating and exhausting, but it's worth it. Trash Sash says. Shut up and keep watching, haha <laughs> trust me, there are waiting bigger questions for you. Enjoy. R slash 90 day fiance. Kafilova0101 says. What show is the best and most interesting to watch? Hi, so I have seen snippets of the show all the time, but finally had time to sit and watch one. And I picked 90 Day Fink before the 90 Days Season 5, and I loved it. All the people in that show I know of, and I just started happily ever after Season 7, but I know which is best, and where I should start, or what to do. I love before the 90 Days, but should I start watching the original 90 Day Fink, or what? PLS comment and help, and on which seasons, and show is your favorite. When Squirrels Fry says... I'd start with the classic from season 1 honestly. Then start the other way from season 1. I think 2 is pretty good compared to other offshoots. r slash 90 day fiance. 
Finis Bizach says. 90 D he, this season cold been an ML. Sean Robinson will need to lower from the rafters both a rabbit lyrica and a 70s dash style dash discothequeeb blow up doll to fill up the fourth hour. That's the only way I'm enduring 4 GD tellals. Get real. Biagral by says. TLC thinks more is better. More bloated episodes with softball questions, and no follow up isn't anyone wants. Give us more behind the scenes, and aired footage, and hard hitting questions with actual follow up questions. OK underscore shoe 1622 says. Wonder which irrelevant cast member they bring on via zoom to waste half an episode. No underscore Marion Berry 4072 says. ML says just watch summaries of past seasons, same storylines, same people. Bad Habit 2020 says. After skimming said ML freak. This damn ML could have been a damn text. To a light and joy says. I'm so tired of this season and this cast. They said that to you says. Absolutely. It is going to be a long sleep fest with lots of walk offs and commercials. Strength off strings says. We already know how it's going to play out. Angela throwing a shit fit and stomping off stage. The pothists screaming at each other, Charlie and Andre threaten to beat each other up. Yara whining. Tears from Liz. Gaslighting from Pred and Bylaw. Sigh. Ontifalala says. I hope the rabid lyricist tears the Debbie blow up to pieces. Excuse me, I mean blowy a pee. Interesting many 509 says. Preview shows Angelosaurus once again throwing her considerable weight around. When did a say that says. An email that I would have sent directly to the spam file. R slash 90 day fiance. Brett Nurse says. Ra watching season 5 for the Molly and Lewis moments. It's so funny to me to see how they were at the beginning compared to how things ended. Also, it makes me really interested to find out more about whatever went into making Lewis the way he is lol. I feel like has a character from a really interesting book, but I don't know what it's about yet. I've also enjoyed the Dave and Annie segments I didn't really watch them before, but watching them has been interesting too. Actually, the more that I watch it, I'm appreciating the cast selection. I've binge watched this show just zoning out doing other stuff. It's only during the recent seasons of the various spin-offs that I've started paying attention. Expedition Armor says. Lewis drove her absolutely nuts. His behavior I think, made her go a little crazy. I feel bad for her. He was off his rocker too. Old set 5889 says. Dave and Anna's segments stressed me out, especially the relationship between Annie and his family. There was a lot of stubborn energy coming from both sides, where his family claimed to be welcoming, but didn't go out of their way and she didn't try to encourage interaction either as she hid in her phone, and then the money and living issues really began to arise. However, I did notice that some of the pillow talk seasons had to be happening in the midst of all the drama and they seemed perfectly happy and cute, so I think there may have been some manufacturing there, and I like them together overall. Molly and Lewis, good. Lord. When he brings up her home decorations, I about lost it. It gets bad, like. Real bad. His interactions with her daughters, and then when he pulled away and became belligerent. To be honest, unless it was just that they fell apart naturally, and TLC manufactured the extra drama, there was no clear trigger, or tipping point for his change in behavior. However, it's entirely possible, that their relationship was a product of sex tourism, and he was one of the partners, that was unhappy with work and life balance, after being used to vacation Molly. A lot to analyze between them, though, and the way her family in general felt about their relationship. Pithicrida says. Debble Ow. Siranara 100 says. I watched the first season of The Single Life with Molly, and in the tell all they brought Lewis in for some reason. And I remembered how frustrated I got with him. The dude is either high or not that bright, or both, 
he didn't answer any questions and said that Molly needed to apologize to him. Lulz, she didn't. But the dude is weird and annoying. That's all for this video. Was it good? I know not for I'm a robot. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. This video is the product of an automated process.